Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. And this is a 51-year-old female who had a whole body scan, and we discovered something incidental, something that's easily missed. I've missed it myself, embarrassingly. But this is uh, not an uncommon finding, and this is the patient's brain uh, where we see it. So I'm going to run through the images and see if you can spot it as I scroll through. So this is from uh, right to left, going through the brain, and things look pretty good. We have the cerebrum up high, cerebellum down here. This is the brain stem. And really, things look very, very good. And if we put up another view, it's called a flare sequence, very sensitive for any abnormalities. So we go through here, we see these little tiny specks in the frontal lobes, these little bitty tiny white spots. Those are maybe related to migraine headaches or a small vessel disease, but no big deal. And running back and forth through, it's like, hmm, everything else looks pretty good. We're going to put up another view like this. As we go through this, things look pretty nice from right to left. Nothing really jumps out as a, a worrisome finding or a tumor. But if we look more closely, we'll be able to see this here eventually. So this is just another view where things look nice and normal. But in retrospect here, um, we do see there's a little area right here, asymmetry. And this is called a meningioma. Meningiomas are really easy to blow past. When you give IV contrast, they light up really bright. They're super easy to see. But if you don't give IV contrast, you can see how it's just the same signal as the temporal lobe or brainstem here, this little area. If we put up a T two-weighted view, fluid is white or bright, and the brain tissue is gray, and this is it right here, but very easy to jog past. This is at the cerebellopontine angle, a little cerebellopontine angle meningioma. And this patient was asymptomatic, but this is something that, again, almost every radiologist I've ever talked to has uh, missed these just because they're, they're almost iso-intense to the brain parenchyma. You can jog past them really easily. This is a coronal view. As we go forward into the brain, again, things look really good at first glance. But we see that this little area is that benign tumor, again, called a meningioma. So we're going to have this patient come back for enhancement. And again, this thing will light up very bright. And since they're asymptomatic, they may not have to do anything, but just watch just to make sure it doesn't grow any larger or cause symptoms. Um, again, this is on the left side of the cerebellopontine angle. And these can grow and cause mass effect on the um, neurovascular structures that go out to give you your hearing and balance. So a commonly missed finding um, called a meningioma, again, looks so intense to brain parenchyma. And again, when you give IAP contrast, they enhance prominently and they show up very easily.